negative fuel trim values can be a real head-scratcher for anyone diving under the hood of their car. So, let's take a good look at what's going on when your vehicle decides to throw these curveballs your way. First off, fuel trim refers to the adjustments that the engine control module, ECM, makes to the fuel mixture, the ratio of air to fuel, being injected into the engine. It's how your car's brain keeps things running smoothly, ensuring that the combustion process is as efficient as possible. Basically, it's the ECM's way of fine-tuning your engine on the fly. Now, onto those pesky negative values. When you see negative fuel trim values, it means the ECM is reducing the amount of fuel in the mixture. It's detected too much fuel for the amount of air entering the combustion chamber and is cutting back on the fuel to balance things out. This situation is termed running rich. So what causes an engine to run richer than it should? The culprits can vary widely, but here are a few common ones. 1. Oxygen sensors. These sensors measure the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases. If they start to fail or provide inaccurate readings, the ECM might think there's too little oxygen, meaning too much fuel, and try to adjust by cutting fuel, leading to negative trim values. 2. Math, mass airflow. Sensor. This sensor tells the ECM how much air is entering the engine. If it's dirty or faulty, it could report less air than there actually is, prompting the ECM to reduce fuel unnecessarily. 3. Vacuum leaks. If there's a leak in the vacuum system, extra air can enter the engine without passing through the MAF sensor, causing a rich condition that the ECM attempts to correct by leaning out the fuel mixture, thus negative fuel trim. 4. Fuel pressure regulator issues. If the fuel pressure is too high, perhaps due to a failing regulator, it can cause too much fuel to enter the engine. The ECM will then dial back the fuel to try to keep things in balance. 5. Leaking injectors. If one or more fuel injectors are leaking, they can introduce too much fuel into the combustion chamber. The ECM responds by reducing the overall fuel amount, which can show up as negative fuel trim values. Essentially, when the ECM senses that too much fuel is being used, for whatever reason, it tries to correct the situation by leaning out the mixture. The key to diagnosing and fixing the issue lies in understanding that negative fuel trim values are the ECM's response to what it perceives as an imbalance in the air-fuel mixture. From Portland, Oregon to the far reaches of Maine, cars operate on the same basic principles, so this info holds true no matter where you are. Getting to the bottom of negative fuel trim values often requires a bit of detective work and possibly some professional diagnostic tools to pinpoint the exact cause. However, Understanding what those negative values mean is the first step towards getting your vehicle back to running at its best.